The average American consumes 55 pounds of beef per year. And then there's Texas, where we can knock that off in a couple of months. And maybe faster if we're talking about smoked brisket. Curiously, the one cut of beef that Texans and Jews agree upon. This is really good, Mama. Really good? You're spitting the best brisket in Texas all over the damn table. Close your mouth when you eat. Or aim your face the other way. Connie, one of these days, you got to give me the recipe. You bet, for sure. One of these days. Oh, come <laughs> on. Can't hold on to it forever. Mean that much to you? Mary and I were dating about a month when she brought me home for dinner. I took one bite of this brisket, and I knew I loved your daughter. Gee, thanks. I like Sleeping Beauty, except Dad kissed meat. <laughs> I tell you what. You go get a piece of paper and a pencil. I'll write it down for you. OK. It's happening. That's the fastest I've seen him run. It's the only time I've seen him run. There you go. OK. I might make it this weekend. Or you could try a vegetable. <laughs> vegetable, that's funny. OK. Now, this is for your eyes only. You're not to share it with anybody. I never, I, I would never. You're a horrible person. What did it say? I want to know what it said. Me too. Just eat. Can I read it? You are a horrible person. Ain't I? <laughs> All right, that's enough about the brisket. You kids excited for the church picnic tomorrow? Not no, really. I don't know. Oh, come on. You all saw the flyer, the three Fs, food, fun, and fellowship. And I'm bringing a big slab of my brisket. That's it. 15 years in this family, and all the time I've been nothing but a good, supportive son-in-law. I always treated your daughter right. I gave you three beautiful grandchildren. Only thing I ever asked in return was that damn recipe. You're right. Get another piece of paper. I'll write it down. Don't mess with me, Connie. Get the paper before I change my mind. You're going to do it to him again, aren't you? I kind of have to. <laughs>